Today I'm going to show you how I use the Apple Vision Pro without hands. You'll get to see why I believe that this device is the world's most accessible piece of technology ever made. And although I believe that to be true, it doesn't mean there can't be improvements to it. And I hope to work with Apple to improve them. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to use it, take notes, and help people with disabilities take full advantage of this amazing technology. Now let's get started. I'm going to show you the accessibility features I use most to operate the Apple Vision Pro without hands. Let's open up the accessibility options and believe me, there's a lot. So we're not going to go over all of them. We're just going to go over the ones that I've been using for the past couple of weeks to help me day in and day out use the Apple Vision Pro. This is my favorite accessibility feature. It's called sound actions. Early on when I first started using the Apple Vision Pro, I turned on voice control and I was saying tap, 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 and they got super, super repetitive. And so um, I turned off uh, voice control and I found sound actions and it's incredible. I'll show you right now. So I can just make with, with a sound of my mouth, I can do things like to bring up my apps or to close them with a click of my tongue or it's called a cluck of my tongue. I can uh, tap on certain things. And so here's all the ones you can do. And we'll go into the practice menu here. P, E, eh, La, M, O, U, A. Uh. But one of my favorite things is I could be looking wherever. and show my apps and take them away. The pop sound is my favorite. I do notice that if I'm talking, I have to like pause for a second and then do the noise. And that's sound actions. The next thing I wanna show you is dwell. It's another thing where you don't have to make noises or anything. You can just, just use your eyes and you can control pretty much everything uh, on the Apple Vision Pro. I'm gonna show you that now. So there's this menu here. It's called the Dwell menu. And it's attached to the assistive touch menu, but you just look at it and you can start it. And right now my gesture is scroll, but there's long press, drag and tap. But for right now, I want to just show you tap. I'm going to open my apps and I'm going to look at Safari. Open up Safari. Oh, look at this website here. And now with this, I can tap different pages just by looking. Another cool thing about Dwell is dra the dragging. So I can look at the bottom of that window over there. Tap it and look up and drag it to here. Or I can drag the corner of the window, look over here and drag it really big. And I can look here, drag it down and boom, there it is. So when you're watching a video or you're watching uh, or you're looking at a website, you can drag the corners or you can move windows around so I can have this window Click and drag, move that window over there. And then I can move my settings or another window over here in front of my shoes. And as you can notice, I didn't say a word. It's just me looking with my eyes, holding, tapping, and then looking somewhere else with my eyes and, and the screens move. And it's pretty incredible. Um, Another one of my favorite gestures in Dwell is scroll. I'll show you that now. Looking at this website, this beautiful design equal accessibility website. Just look, hold, hold again, and it scrolls up. I don't have to move my head or anything. It's just all in your eyes. And uh, I think you guys are really gonna like this dual feature. I love it. The next thing I wanna show you is the assistive touch menu. Inside the assistive touch menu, 
Some of you may be familiar with it. It's this little dock that lives down here that I'm looking at and it's always there. And you have notification center. You can start capturing. You can do custom gestures like pinch and rotate, long press, double tap, hold, and you can add up to four more. But inside device, you'll see uh, you can act, tap the digital crown, you can turn the dial clockwise, turn the crown clockwise, turn the crown uh, counterclockwise, you can tap the top button, um, volume up, volume down, recenter apps, screenshot, restart, force quit, shut down, input recovery, and accessibility shortcut. This one is for using, oh. yeah, there's like a time delay on it so it doesn't always stay open. This is an extremely useful little tool to have always at the bottom. So if I want to quickly turn the volume down or volume up, I can open up the system touch menu and easily access all of these things. Another thing I want to show you is a voice control. Voice control has been on every single Apple device that I, for as long as I can remember. And it's one of the best uh, accessibility voice features on any device I've ever used. I can show you, you can just, oh, you can just say things like open the app store. Just tap YouTube. I'm not typing or anything. I'm just all using my voice because voice control is turned on. With voice control, I can just say open app store and scroll down. Scroll right, scroll right. Or you can look at something and just say, tap, go back. With voice control, it's super easy just to be able to control the interface with just your voice. Typing's really cool too. Open notes. With voice control, you can just type with your voice. So if you wanna write a book or whatever you wanna do in your life, you wanna send emails, send text messages, you can do it 100% with just your voice. One of my favorite features of the Apple Vision Pro is to be able to transport somebody whether they're sitting in a small room or even outside or wherever they're at, they can be anywhere in the world. They can be on the moon or on top of Mount Hood, working, having your messages over here, the websites you're looking at over here, notes over here, news over here, watching Apple TV up here, working in a room, and having all these different windows open, not having to have any technology on a desk or worry about where, where I can reach a mouse or anything like that. I can do everything with my eyes and I can do it from anywhere and I can go anywhere inside the Apple Vision Pro. I love the Apple Vision Pro and I'm excited for everyone to get to try it. It is truly going to change lives. It's going to allow people with disabilities who have limited mobility to work and be transported to places that they may never get a chance to go. Now these aren't all the accessibility features built into the Apple Vision Pro. It's just some of the ones that I've been using to help me in my day-to-day -day using it. If there's a few you want us to highlight, please let us know. Stay tuned for more content about the Apple Vision Pro and other products testing accessibility. Thank you.